Good morning, good morning from, it's Wednesday, and Wednesday is time to pray together, so, woo, I'm tired today. Here's Aunt Sally. Hi. There's, buddy. Buddy. Speak. I'm trying to teach him to speak. We. We're trying. We're trying. So, it is the hardest day of all to, to have a prayer video, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it because God spoke to me and asked me, do a learn to pray video every Wednesday, and this is Wednesday. So I probably can't load it until later, but um, but I'll load it when I can. In Rock Springs, Wyoming, there is no service. There is no, no Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi doesn't reach here. So uh, it's amazing to know that God still hears us, and we still have God even though we don't have service. Oh, I wanted to show you this. Look what God provided for us. It is a handicap shower. That's what, this is your soap commercial. The reason why I made this, make soap the way I make it is so it will fit in this box. This is the original bubbly and we both had a shower. First world problems, that's what, first world problems. We both had a shower with the original bubbly today. And we also have a service dog. Buddy, give a better look, you're a little black thing we can't see you <laughs> normally he's a service dog he's a service dog so we have a room with it with, that's a service dog room and a handicapped room but no wi-fi so i haven't been able to talk to my husband or anything okay so i better pause and make a note or two i did want to tell you um that's what first world problems yesterday we got going and of course I wanted to go to McDonald's to get my coffee. So we drove all the way a mile the other way so I could get my iced coffee. And I have a empty box truck. Well, it's not empty anymore. It has all of Aunt Sally's life in it. Well, <laughs> life is not made of your possessions, but she has some things she'd like to keep. And then I'm dragging behind a, I'll probably show you at the end. I'll show you at the end. I have a container that I'm taking with me so that we'll get $700 off. 750. 750, 750 because of some problems. So that'll help because it's very expensive to go on a rescue mission to take your aunt and bring her back home to you so you can care for her the rest of her earthly days because she just lost her husband and you're willing to help her but not enable her and encourage her to strengthen her legs so that she can get the one leg over the bathtub when we get to Mumsy's house. <laughs> Now we're having trouble getting the leg up out of the truck. Yeah, I'll have to show you that too. The, sorry, I dropped you. The um, the truck is rather tall, but one of our friends provided a wonderful step for us. But okay, so about the coffee. Oh, pause. Okay, so since it's COVID nineteen, the tra the big huge truck and the trailer will not fit through the drive thru so I can't go through the drive thru The lobby's not open, so I can't go in the lobby. I can't drive the trailer through the drive through so I go to walk up. They're not allowed to take my order through the drive through So I appeal to their sensibilities, and, and I, I say, let me talk to your manager. Please just take my order. Please just take my order through the drive through They look at me, and they're like, we can't. So the other manager comes. And I said, just pretend I'm a car. Please just give me my large iced coffee, no liquid sugar, extra cream, so I can go. And the lady said, I'll lose my job. And I said, okay. So I could download the app, which I don't have downloaded. So I went, well, I did. I was very upset and very fussing because I just wanted my coffee. <laughs> I got in the truck and I was very grouchy, but I wasn't too grouchy to them. I was direct and I said, please just give me my coffee. And then I tried to download the app, but it wouldn't load. So then I started crying, <laughs> fussing and telling myself, come on, you're okay. Just go get some coffee at the next truck stop. You'll be fine. So first world problems, first world problems. So sometimes we fall apart. Sometimes we fall apart, and I fell apart yesterday. If I had another story to tell you, I forgot it. Oh, so the point is, this is why, the point of this is so I can teach you, or we can together learn how to eat, because every morning your spirit and your soul needs fed. You're, you need 
you need living bread. Your, your, your spirit needs to eat. So let's just go ahead and eat. And if you need to learn more about that, check out another video. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. Oh, well, we could go up. And the reason why I have these, that's just because it's much easier to focus on promises one at a time, because when you want to blow off your routine of feeding yourself, of course, you're not going to blow off breakfast or lunch or dinner. I mean, you might blow it off, but eventually you're going to get some physical food in your mouth. But we have a tendency to blow off um, God. Put it at the back of the list. Okay, well, I'll just share this. It's Isaiah 41. And um, God had just showed me this scripture in my other Bible, and I brought this one along, but I'll just read it. For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of you, okay, it's all right, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. So it was very nice to read this yesterday because I feel like falling apart into a puddle. You can't drive like a puddle. Oh, speaking of that Monday, we're driving, we're driving through Oregon and I get sick and I have to puke in a bucket while I'm driving. <laughs> It wasn't time to stop. <laughs> oh, Lord. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Do not be afraid, O worm Jacob, O little Israel, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. See, I will make you into a threshing sledge, new and sharp with many teeth. You will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chaff. You will winnow them, the wind will pick them up. Oh, mercy. I was in Boise, that's what I was wearing. A gale wind will blow them away, but you will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. Okay, poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst, but I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will make rivers flow on barren heights and springs within the valleys. I will turn the desert pools. I will turn the deserts. I will turn the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into springs. I will put the desert. I will put in the desert the cedar and the acacia and the myrtle and the olive. I will set. Oops, you're not in the script. For, sorry can't see the words but this video is designed to be listened to really that's what okay so we have enough there that we can try to dig in and eat okay so while yesterday Aunt Sally went ahead this were the, these were the ones that stood out to me so Aunt Sally went ahead and wrote them down for me in her writing and we added them to somewhere but we've had a trouble but I keep losing my snacks so Oh God, please help us. Please help us today. I pray for the viewer. I pray for the listener. I pray for the person who's watching this screen. Um, thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for um, getting us here. Help me to to eat a little, to eat. I need a big snack. I'm starving. I need a big snack. I need some food. Okay, eat. All right. Okay. All right, so we can start with this. And then, of course, always you, you have to have context. You can't just take anything anyway. But you can, that's what I'm saying, you can take it for yourself. So um, you have to use the whole counsel of the Word of God. That's what you, you, there's an appropriate way to use it. So let's just start with this in the middle. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand. So first you'd have to figure out who is he talking to and who is he talking about. Okay, do not be afraid, O worm, Jacob, O little Israel. So he's probably talking to his people, right? Well, he could be talking to me. I could possibly take it for myself. I certainly feel like not enough, like a worm, um, the problem with Jacob and Israel is that they keep forgetting about him and they don't know him, they don't know his words, they don't they don't honor him, they don't they don't turn to him. And then after a while of that they get consequences. 
then after they get consequences for a little while, then they turn around and repent and ask for mercy and seek him again. So they could be anywhere in this process of that time of repenting and saying, God, help us. And God answers when you, but it, it could be a while coming. It just depends. Okay. For I myself will help you, declares the Lord. Now that's very encouraging. So usually, now there's qualifiers for help, okay? You can't, you, he wants to help all of us. He wants to help all of us, but he can't. Oh, Lord. See, it gets theologically deep in a hurry. You need to, that's why you need to pray. You need to get yourself straight before him. You need to acknowledge that he's God and you're not and, and, um, and follow his way. So you have to ask him, ask him, seek him and knock. So, and then after that qualifier, and that's what none of us qualify. It's the blood of Jesus that qualifies us. And then that's good enough. So, but we are, we are required to try. You can't just, oh, well, now I prayed and now I'm safe. And so who cares what I do? I'll just let my flesh drive the ship because the flesh is a terrible God actually. Okay. All right. So let's see, let's see if we're getting any food done here. All right. Okay. And this is what I felt like he was speaking to me that he, um, that's what I feel like I've, I've, I've. He has made every person unique to be a tool. He's given every person gil gifts and skills and, well, there's two sides to that coin. That's what, three actually, because there's the rim. You have your gifts and then you have your, you have your, your, where you're lacking because we all still do. So the problem is when it turns into just blatant rebellion and sin and ignoring, like those things you shouldn't do. You should take a look at the things that you need to improve that, that don't glorify God and you should ask him to help you and work on that today. <laughs> so that's what I was admitting to you. That's what I had my first world fit. Give me my coffee. Now, I don't think I was especially mean to the, I was direct. I said, let me talk to your manager because my manager maybe would have given me my coffee if I would have given him the pickle. That's the rule. You're supposed to give the customer what they want. And I couldn't load the app. So I have a good excuse for having a big old fit, but not in God's eyes. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so when we are we allow God to use us as his tool, he can he it's possible that he could crush mountains, okay? And as we've been driving, I've noticed we drove through Oregon and then we drove through Idaho and now we're in Wyoming. And did you know that mountains are different? Like they're different colors and they have different grasses and like there's different kinds of mountains. I never knew that. And then I was thinking, the Bible says, you know, if you believe, you can say to the mountain, be cast into the sea. Um, the sea is really far from here. <laughs> I don't know. The sea is really far. Like, it's a big job to get a mountain into the sea. But that's what God says. So we're allowed to believe that he can take problems. Um, would he take a physical mountain and move it? So anyways, that's different types of reading. Okay, so let's try to get some more. All right. Oh, of course, see, this is what... So people would see and know and consider and understand that it's God who's done it. So that anything that they'd see, that's what His glory, that's the purpose of it. You don't ask for things for... Well, you could... I mean, God wants to meet your needs. That's what... we. I had mentioned that to Aunt Sally this morning in the book... Fervent prayer, I'm pretty sure it is, that we did last time. It's a how to pray and how to pray effectively. And this was kind of a chapter on why you would pray. And it said, most of us don't understand, like, the discipline of praying, which is what this is. That's what, it's just hoeing. It's like hoeing a garden. you got to get the weeds out. You can't, you can't let the, the weeds, the thistle, take over the garden. There's not much room for the tomato plants then. You, somebody's got to hoe. Somebody's just got to do it. It's discipline. It's discipline. But there's a balance, yes. Anyway, so the illustration in the book was, what if, oh, my leg. Oh, okay, what if the richest man in town told you that if you would come to his door every day at 6 in the morning and ring the doorbell, he would give you the resources that you needed. He'd give you $10,000 resources every day. You just have to be there at 6 in the morning to ring the bell. Now, all of us, I mean, that's what you could, you can adjust your whole life so that you'd be there to ring the doorbell right at six in the morning. That's what, yeah, 
it is it is a job to do something at a certain time in a certain way, but you could do it. If you understood it, you could do it. So I was thinking of that today and thinking about how God has resources and he, he provides and he cares for you. And um, when I was thinking this morning, I'm like, Lord, when I ring the doorbell, I don't want anything but you. <laughs> just Can I just sit with you, please? <laughs> I don't want your stuff. I just want you. I mean, stuff is really nice, but I just want you. Anyway, so it's for his glory. Okay. Oh, and here's the other one. That's what we could go a little further. Right, we allow our heart to love so many other things. And I don't want my heart to love other things. Those are called idols. And all of us have those things in our life that, well, whether we do it on purpose or on accident, we put the weight of our trust on these, on these inadequate things. <laughs> Putting aside the whole spiritual war, which maybe we should deal with that. Because when you do that, then you, you give legal rights to, to the enemy. So I take that back. And Jesus, there is nobody, nothing that, nothing that has a legal right over me. The blood of Jesus is the legal right. Okay, so present your case, says the Lord. Set forth your argument, argument, says Jacob's king. Bring in your idols to tell us what is going to happen. Tell us the former things so that we may consider them and know their final outcome. But all those things you put your trust in that is not God is always going to let you down. Anyway, so that's probably oh, 16 minutes. That's enough. So now is the part where you could pray on your own. So what you would do is you, you're just going to turn off the video and press pause. And then you could set your timer. Looks like i got five minutes here left to, before I drink my water. So I'll probably just go ahead and do the five minutes. And then we'll just have no closing. Except I am going to show you the truck. So you set your timer for three minutes or five minutes. or I don't care how you do it. But just pray and talk to him. Just talk to the God of the universe and the God of heaven. And that's what... Obvious, that's what you have to be clean before you do that. You can't you, you can't come into his presence. Who do you think you are? But he can allow you to come in his presence. So, okay. So, all right. So, pause your video, okay? All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now we're going to pray together. Now we're going to pray together. We've got 4 minutes to pray. So, we are going to pray together. All right. Good morning, Lord. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Bless your holy name. You are God alone. You are God. I worship you. I praise you. I thank you. I thank you. I bless you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Oh gosh. Thank you that that's what that we can read your word. We can have Bibles and scripture cards and we can know you and know what you say and know what you think and memorize it. First of all, I pray for the, the viewer. I pray for the listener. I pray for them, God. I pray you strengthen them today. I pray you. Draw them closer to you. I pray that you bring that continual filling, that con continual river of living water, Lord, that would refresh everyone around them. That's what we can't water anyone, but you can. We can't feed anyone, but you can. And we ask that you would do it through us. We sit here available, available. And what is man that you are mindful of him? But your word says, Lord, believe on the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. That's what you say if we believe and then we take our actions that you save us. That, But it's not just for me. That's what I, I think of those kings in the Bible who would get judgment and then they'd repent and the prophet would come and say, well, God's still going to keep his word, but it won't be in your lifetime. Oh, Lord, thank you. That's great. But what about what about my my children's children, what about grandchildren? I want them to know you too. They need water. That's just not quite enough. Lord, we need more mercy than that. It's bigger than me. There's other people here. Lord, I bring the people of Rock Springs before you, this, this town. And when we drive through, we, we notice different smells and things that look different and even a different, fe it's not really a feeling. It's different. I don't cities are different they have different you know, cultural mindsets and attitudes and um, isn't that funny how we lord we don't notice our we don't notice how our city smells that's what what we drove by yesterday the cashews tasted like banana chips 
we drove by something and it it was like rain, rocks on rain, but it was a different smell. Um, one of it was metally. We drove through this town and it was like metal in your mouth taste. There were several smells as we drove through different countries, I guess because maybe what they make in the city, the this, this city, the, 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 what's it called, factory, whatever they make. But we don't notice how we, we don't notice our things. We don't notice the smell. We don't notice the heaviness. And we pray that you would show us. That's what driving a truck, there's lots of blind spots. There's blind spots. And I, I need more than mirrors. I need you, God. And I, I want to deal with those blind spots. And I certainly don't want to drive someone else off the road. The bigger the load, the faster you're going, the more careful you have to be. We get some momentum. And I... I pray that we would have momentum that would be pleasing to you. Uh, Lord, it's when help, 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 help. Lord, we need help. Uh, Lord, there's people that's what in a mission, that's what you've called us all to go and break bread. That's what to go and share, to go and feed, to go and um, let people know about you. I remember thinking that's what it wouldn't be much good to roll down my window at 80 miles an hour in my U-Haul truck and scream at someone across on the other highway. You need Jesus. <laughs> Do you know you need God? Well, they're driving 80 miles an hour going the other way. <laughs> More than likely, they can't hear me. But when you do put people in my path that need to hear from you, that need you, Jesus, I pray that I would be brave and say something, do something. The least I can do is pray for him, but I'm kind of a words person myself. I like to talk, but I, it's not all about what I want to do sometimes. We had a, a little neighbor that came in the hotel room yesterday. I felt bad because I parked the truck all cockeyed. I was hoping I'd get to give her a bar of soap or something or but I heard her leaving look like a Japanese lady cute little young Japanese lady with a car from New York <clears throat> and I apologize that I parked the but she's gone I can pray for her I parked the see that how it's um Nope, buddy. It's handicapped. And there's really nobody here, so I just parked it this way so I can back up, you see. Look, there's the mountains. There's the mountains. There's the mountains. All right. And I found that pine cone in the... I don't know if you can see it there, but how do pine cones get to the middle of a field? No pine tree around. Do they fly? Okay. All right. Well, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Have Aunt, a happy day. Aunt Sally was praying for you, too. What about you? Can you speak yet? Got a nice tail. All right. All right. Look, I can see this this way. All right. Have a good week. I'm praying for you. I love you. I don't know if it'll let you give a comment because um, I have to reset my thing, but you could give a like to let me know that you watched it. And if you need to get a hold of me, um, you would have to email me because I don't know how to do YouTube. I'm a goofball. Penny, P-E-N-N-I-E, -N -N -E, underscore, Nelson, N-E-L-S-O-N, -E at yahoo.com. All right. Hey, have a good day. Love you.